Hey YouTube, your favorite YouTuber here, Ian Press 48 is here. Welcome back to another episode of Diecast on 60 for comparison. And today we are going to be over two different manufactured bodies on a similar scheme. In case if you guys didn't know, back in 2016, Stuart Haas Racing announced that they were gonna go to Ford in 2017, and there were some mixed opinions about it. Um, at that time, I was against it because I was used to, like, the previous manufacturer. But, like, looking back at it now, I feel bad about it. And I'm glad that they're doing amazing with the current manufacturer to run. You guys know what I'm talking about. You click. You saw the title. You saw the thumbnail. Anyway, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be looking back at... Kevin Harvick's Jimmy John's cars. And we're going to be looking at... First, this is Kevin Harvick's 2016 Jimmy John's Chevy SS from Stuart Haas Racing. And he ran this paint scheme from 2014 through 2016 uh, Chevy SS wise. And honestly, there were times like back then, like sometimes like... I didn't really like the skin because it was old or something like that. And I don't know, but like, honestly, with the EL body, it's better because like, line up from 2014 through 2015, they made like the WLS PTC mode with the scheme. But with the, with the EL mode, it looks great. And we are going to be looking at his 2017 Jimmy Johns Ford Fusion for Stuart Haas Racing. And this was their first year in Ford. And honestly, I think Stuart Haas Racing going to Ford was actually like the best thing, best decision ever. They've been, they've done better than ever. And I'm happy for them. Especially Kevin Harvick. Going to Stuart Haas Racing was the best uh, thing he's done in his career. Look at what happened compared to him with Richard George's Racing. Anyway, so let's see what is similar and different about these similar schemes. First of all, of course, it's two different manufacturers, two different bodies. But let's look at the scheme, shall we? And of course, in the in the 2017 version, this is the Authentics version, so you would not see the, the Bush Beer logos. All right, so here we go. On the quarter panel, you both got Jimmy John's logos. Uh, you got both Mac, tw I mean, not Mac Tools, Mobile One and Haas. In 2017, they do not have Mac Tools. And let's see the left side, the, le the door. Um, you got these tiny sponsors. One of them is Exalta. The other one is Bosch. The other one, I don't know. Harvard had four small sponsors. Harvard had three small sponsors over there. On the A post 2016, you got Outback Steakhouse, Die Tech, Hunt Brothers Pizza, Mobile One, and Morton Buildings. I don't know. On the 2017 version, you got Ford, Drive One, Mobile One, Hunt Brothers Pizza, and I think Morton's Buildings. Is it? Come on, camera focus. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. It won't focus, but I think that's what it is. And they got the contingency sponsors. Um, of course, 2016, they had more contingencies than 2017. Because, like, over the years since the Gen 6. Or pretty much, like, the beginning of the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series sponsorship title. They've been losing. They've been getting less and less contingencies. And, of course, you can see that big difference. I miss it when the contingency sponsors look like this. And not, like, like over here. Like, I missed it when they were under the NASCAR race car logo, not, like, moving forward. That's just ugly. Anyway, here you got the hood. Hang on, let me let it focus a bit. You got the hood, Jimmy John's, both. In the 2016 version, you got gourmet sandwiches. 2017, you just got sandwiches. And, of course, uh, Harvick's last names with uh, Chevy banners, Ford banners. You got Chevy SS Fusion, Stuart Haas logo, four. You got Stuart Haas logo under here. 
You got same side as the left, except on the 2016 version, you got Thank You, America. I th Honestly, I thought that was pretty cool that they did that. And on the back, you got in the back bumper, you got Freaky Fast. Um, you got Ford logo. We got 4 4 Chevy logo SS. You got another small sponsor, I think, on the left side of the tailgate. God, my arms are tired. Hold on. Does that say anything? I can't really tell because the flashlight. I don't know what that says. Anyway. And. Oh, it's out of focus. Oh, my God. And you got four on the roof. On the Lionel version, you got Bush Beer. And on the Authentics version, you got nothing. Because it's on Authentics. Woo! So, yes, yeah, some similarities, some differences, of course. And if I were to pick which one is better, I would go with the Chevy SS 2016 version. Honestly, it had more... Uh, uh, designing like as you can see here there's some black over here this one's just flat out white um so honestly i would go for the 2016 chevy ss better also like i love the the the, the addition of the red splitters that's honestly pretty cool it's cool on the white splitter but this one's just honestly better um uh what else Honestly, if I were to do like a comparison between Harvick's 2017 and 2018, uh, Jimmy John's, honestly, the 2018 version would go for the win. Man, I am attacking the 2017 version. I'm not saying like it looks ugly. I just think like there's some like, I just think like the Chevy SS and the 2018 Ford version of the Jimmy John's car looks better. Like, I don't hate this scheme. Like, I don't hate this scheme. Personally, like, whenever he ran Jimmy John's the most, I thought, like, the beer sponsors were his primary. But, looks like, Jimmy John's was his primary sponsor from, like, 2014 in Stuart Haas through 2017, 2018. And then, like, 2019 forward, Bush became the main sponsor. And then we saw less and less of the Jimmy John's car and I don't think we'll see Jimmy John's at all this year. I think they're out of NASCAR. I'm not really sure. But at the end, 2016 for the win. And and for you wonderful viewers watching this video, what which, which car and paint scheme do you guys prefer better? The 2016 Chevy SS or the 2017 Ford Fusion? Feel free to tell me in the comments below. This is the Impress 48 signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts in a link in the description below. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. This is the Impress 48 signing off. Thank you guys for supporting E Nation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.